<clears throat> you know when borders are nice and corners are uh, sharp and stuff like that. These are, have sort of been taken off a little bit lately, these uh, Fanimation cards. Got a couple of those. So yeah, when you look at a card, you can tell, you know, especially like if it's way right to left or up or down. You can tell some of the borderless cards aren't so easy. This was another hard set. But so we'll see how I did on grade area you know, on prepping my cards before I send gold uh, Derek Jeter. And then uh, I just know I can't can't send my stuff there. <clears throat> All I know is if I have a 10, I want to have a 10 that I know is a 10. Not a ten that was put in because I buy so many cards or send in so many cards or because I got the good the guy when he was good mood or whatever. I'd rather have a card that's greeted consistently and correctly than uh, I really like these ones here. Then you know the inconsistency I've been seeing as far as other the big dog I guess in the industry. So people are probably not going to like me very much for saying it, but you know it's just the way it is. And if you if you haven't seen it or noticed it, then that's that's you. <laughs> I keep hearing this thing like, oh, these are tough cards to grade because they get come back with an 8 or whatever. Yeah, this is a tough card to grade, so that's why I got an 8. No, it's not a tough card to grade. Any card should be about the same to grade. I mean, sure, they were condition-sensitive cards, but if it looks perfect, it should be perfect. <coughs> You can tell if there's a chip or not, and when you're looking at it, you know, I can. I take all my cards and look at them under magnification. And I'm sure a lot of people do, so. But that's enough for my rant. Anyway, here's all my cards. I'm not all of them. This is just a tiny bit. I was actually going to get a bunch ready to send once I get get my uh, submission back. And if it comes back good, I'm going to have two more, 200 more cards to send. So I was going to be getting some ready. Like these ones are that I'm showing right now. These ones have been inspected and cleaned and prepared to send. So that's why they're in the bags like this. But uh, if you guys have any uh, one you'd like to recommend for grading or anything like that, leave a comment down below. If you've had problems, leave a comment. And uh, make sure and please leave a like for me. And... Uh, Put on the. Sorry. Oh no, no, I must put that one in upside down. That's weird. Uh, subscribe. This is a 2003 Topps Chrome Refractor, and it's Scotty Pippen. Wish I knew where my LeBron was, but. <laughs> and then there's a few guys I'd like to give a shout out to. Let's see who. Uh, actually, I'll just leave it with those guys. Uh, sports cards and more. And uh, Latino Chino for right now. And then every time I do a new video, I'll shout out a couple more people. 
But that's another thing, you know, if you're looking at these videos, like the content, and you're watching people in the sports card, I, I subscribe to everybody, you know, it's free. And, uh, if you like these old cards like this, I've gave the offer to a couple people and nobody's taken me up on it, so. If you want to email me, I'll put an email in my, uh, description and the first one that does and gives me some of the players they like from this era I'll send you a little bunch of cards you know leave a couple of players you know that you like and I'll send you a few cards I mean I've got thousands and and I won't send you a bunch of crap I'll send you some cool stuff so if you want to do that just the first person that actually takes the time to subscribe, like, and then email me at my email address that'll be in the description. We'll get cards. Pretty simple. I do have football, baseball, basketball, hockey, but I was mostly into basketball, so as you can see. <laughs> Plus, I just haven't got through doing a bunch of the other sports yet to to uh, pull out ones that I want to get graded because it was a little tougher and the football and stuff plus they aren't quite as you know but I do this mostly to to collect I was a collector I am a collector and uh I just have to get rid of something because I mean look at this this is you know this is just a scratch drip in the bucket these were really tough pulls too I actually pulled two of the redemptions so I got two sets and then plus I got a bunch in the boxes I probably over opened over 30 boxes of the product when I was doing it I got a bunch of these too I got every, I think, a couple probably of every one of these when I was doing it. And along the way back in the day, I'd sell a few. But, uh, mostly I kept them. Anyway, I guess my rant is over. I just want to say, you know, collect what you love and you can't go wrong, I guess. And... Until next time, we'll uh, see you soon.